North. Most of us think we know what that means. To head north is to go up, to the top of the world, from a certain perspective. It's the frozen wildlands far beyond human civilization, the point where every compass leads and where they go haywire. Yet contrary to popular belief, the North Pole, the northernmost north, is a rather flexible location. In fact, it's been on the move in recent years. Before the mid-90s, the North Pole gradually fluctuated east to west. The overall trend was a move towards Canada. But then in 2000, the pole's direction accelerated, hurtling to Siberia. This cause of this dramatic change is leading to some pretty surprising culprits, chief amongst them climate change. In this video, I'll delve into the science beyond this polar migration, exploring just what causes the pole to wander in the first place. It's a story that will take us to the very center of the Earth. Be sure to hit the like button and subscribe so you can keep up to date with all our latest videos. To understand what's going on, first we need to separate geographic north from its magnetic twin. The Earth is like a giant spinning top. The point around which it spins, an imaginary line running through the Earth from top to bottom, is called its axis. Where the axis intersects, the planet's surface is known as a rotational pole. We have one in the north and south. It's also called the geographical pole. These poles are more related to the Earth's climate. As the planet wobbles on its axis, the Earth experiences subtle shifts in its climate. Some occur over decades, others over millennia. In contrast, the magnetic pole is a separate but related location. It is the point at which the planet's magnetic field points vertically downward. This field protects us from dangerous solar winds and radiation, which would otherwise strip the atmosphere, leaving Earth another barren rock in the solar system. It is created due to a dense molten iron and nickel core at the center of the Earth. The magnetic field spreads in a wide circular arc into space from this core, centered on the north and south magnetic poles. But just as the molten metal core is constantly shifting, so too does the magnetic north pole. So is this all just a natural process? Yes and no. The geographic pole does wobble over time, but more often that wobbling is seemingly random and purposeless. The latest discovery is suggestive of a more direct cause, the climate. The trigger may be the massive losses of glacial ice around the planet. As the Earth's climate warms, these ice flows are lost to the ocean, causing unimaginable weight shifts. Colossal ice sheets, country size, in the case of Greenland, or continental as in the West Antarctic, are composed of a lot of on-land ice. That ice presses directly against the bedrock and the underlying tectonic plates. As the ice melts, the water resettles elsewhere, shifting the axis of the Earth towards where it lost mass. At least that's what the team working on the problem suggests. No one fully knew how the exact process works, it was just too complex. But there's a new theory to explain the process. The key is accounting for all the mass shifts occurring on the Earth. Even human-scale changes can have an impact. For example, the infamous Three Gorges hydroelectric dam in China, charged with trapping pollution, spawning earthquakes and landslides, and turfing out more than 1.3 million people, has another catastrophe on its list, changing the Earth's rotation. Surindra Adhikari, an Earth scientist at NASA's Jet Propulsion Laboratory in California, has something bigger in mind. Alongside his colleague and co-author Eric Ivins, Adhikari points the finger at the massive loss of water from lakes and aquifers in Eurasia, around the Caspian Sea as the culprit. Sweltering temperatures led to more evaporation and less precipitation in such locations, including in India. Meanwhile, burgeoning human populations began sucking up all the groundwater from the region. In Russia, for example, mismanagement by the Soviet agricultural system and worsened by industrial-scale cotton production meant that the Aral Sea, once the fourth largest lake in the world, is now little more than a puddle of its former self. Elsewhere, Saudi Arabia and the Middle East have been drained dry. Conditions worsen due to climate change. As Adhikari explains, what we have shown is that melting ice and a pattern of continental water storage are combining to cause a dramatic shift in the direction of the pole. But as he notes, the shift is on the order of 10 centimeters a year, so it's unlikely to warrant a recalculation of the planet's geographic pole. However, if the shift continues, later generations may well have to adjust for the change, a pretty staggering legacy to our descendants. Adhikari and others hope to answer bigger questions using the latest polar motion data. A better understanding of the axial movement could make climate models more accurate, as they can extrapolate the activity of the Earth's glaciers from polar movements. That's the hope, anyway. Yet as we better understand the geographic poles, the magnetic pole is also undergoing a shift. However, it's less a gentle stroll than a juggernaut hurtling towards Siberia. Since 2015, the North Pole has migrated steadily towards Siberia at a breakneck speed of 48 kilometers a year, or more than 30 miles. This drift eastward surprised scientists. Not because it moved, but because the sudden shift was out of character. The Earth's magnetic pole does naturally shift over time, 
This variation, known as magnetic declination, is caused by deep underground processes. Both the North and South Poles wander, with neither corresponding directly to the other. In fact, in 2019, scientists released an emergency update to the World Magnetic Model, used by cell phone GPS systems and military navigators to orient themselves. For most of us, this shift isn't all that noticeable. Compasses still point north. But to the complex satellite calculations and those attempting to navigate the frozen northern waters, these changes have a real impact. We'll need to keep tracking the situation to understand this inexorable drift better, but something powerful is taking place deep within the Earth. These changes come after the pole has wandered consistently over the centuries. In 1831, the first expedition to find Magnetic North pinpointed its location in the Canadian Arctic, but by the late 1940s when Uncle Sam went looking, it had migrated 250 miles northwest. Since 1990, the Magnetic North has shot across 600 miles of land and sea into the Arctic Ocean, just 4 degrees south of the geographic north. Curiously, at its antipode, the South Pole has seen none of the pre-reginations of its northern brother. Its location has remained stable since 1990, off the coast of eastern Antarctica. It's not unknown for the poles to go haywire, and for even more extreme migrations than at present. In some dramatic episodes, the pole can shift entirely. If you've ever wondered why compasses point north and not south, the answer isn't just the flip of a coin. It's a matter of time. As NASA puts it, reversals are the rule, not the exception. In the past 20 million years, the poles reversed around every 200,000 to 300,000 years. During these periods, the poles don't just flip. Rather, a reversal is a gradual process as the magnetic fields morph and push and pull. New poles can even form at odd latitudes throughout the process, but eventually the poles settle back, either north or south in charge. To detect these shifts, scientists took sediment cores from deep on the ocean floors near the Mid-Atlantic Rift. There, new rock is formed as lava oozes from the Earth's crust, congealing and cooling. The magnetic crystals inside align with the Earth's magnetic field as it cools. By analyzing these rocks, we can see the magnetic field changes in the past. It's happened hundreds of times before, but we're late for our next one. It's been more than twice the average since the last reversal, about 780,000 years ago. It was known as the Brunes Matuyama Reversal. Lucky for us, no major changes in plant or animal life occurred, nor do they seem linked to major extinctions. Hypotheses ranging from the disappearance of Earth's magnetic field entirely during reversals to bombardment by trapped high-energy particles have all failed to prove the risk of reversals. Indeed, given their commonality, occurring two or three times every million years, it's unlikely such mass extinction events take place. So is the Earth undergoing a magnetic reversal, or are the magnetic poles linked to climate change, or is there another cause we're just not seeing? The evidence is pointing towards the latter. Phil Livermore, a geophysicist at the University of Leeds in England, suggests the North Pole's shifting location results from a tug-of-war between two magnetic patches beneath Canada and Siberia. Inside the Earth's stormy core, liquid iron sloshing may be weakening the Canadian patch, leading to the Siberia direction trend. His results come as a shifting magnetic north is playing havoc with established systems. Scientists at the National Oceanic and Atmospheric Administration and the British Geological Survey usually collaborate every five years to produce the latest world magnetic model. The 2019 emergency update came a year early, due to fluctuations occurring faster than predicted, exceeding the threshold for accurate navigation. This trend comes as the Earth's magnetic field is weakened by about 9% in the past 200 years. Many claim the pole reversal is imminent. Livermore is skeptical. There's no evidence that the localized changes in the Arctic are a sign of something bigger, he said. A study published in China in 2021 disagrees. They argue that the weight shift might also produce the underlying magnetic alterations. The pressure changes on the core push and drags the molten iron and nickel, shifting the magnetic field with it. Nevertheless, it has led some to claim that it's not climate change changing the poles. It's the magnetic poles changing the climate. NASA strongly refutes this viewpoint. Such shifts in the magnetic poles are normal, and there's no mechanism by which the magnetic pole could alter the climate. It just doesn't have enough energy. None of the previous reversals seems to be linked to climate change either. It's easy to assume on Earth that everything is interconnected, that the whole planet works in unison, and in a sense it does. But many separate systems are working separately but synchronously. Though we often think of the geographic and magnetic poles as the same, they're distinct. Even their movements, whether caused by climate change triggering lakes and glaciers to disappear, or the effects of boiling iron, are largely separate. These two points dance forever around each other, but to different beats. Still, these changing poles remind us we live on an evolving planet. Even the ground under our feet is in motion. For GPS systems and global communications, these shifts are playing havoc. It also threatens birds and insects reliant on the Earth's magnetic field for navigation. Time will tell if it's just a brief episode or the beginning of a new age for the North Pole. Hey, thanks for watching. Want to suggest a video or have something to say? Let us know in the comments section below.
Check out our playlist for more videos like this one.